King celebrations are underway. See how West Texans are keeping his dream alive. Folks, two bridges have been hit in the past two months, like this one behind me on I-20 and West Loop 250 in Midland. Challenge day, we spoke with teachers. Now the students open up. It's a bird's eye view, nearly 30 feet up in the air. A new destination for you and your family right here in Midland. Where is it and how did it get put together? CBS 7 News at 10 starts right now. Tatum, thanks very much. For the second time in the past two months, an overpass bridge was hit by a truck, causing damage and forcing traffic to be detoured. But as CBS 7's Abraham Ruiz reports, these are happening far too often. That's right, Jay. I'm standing right underneath the bridge at the intersection of Highway 191 and Faudry Road in East Odessa. Uh, and as you can see behind me, there is tarp covering that beam. Uh, TxDOT just covered it to prevent any debris from falling and allowing the uh, morning uh, traffic to continue to go through this intersection. Thankfully, the driver of the truck was not injured and there was not another vehicle traveling at the same time of the wreck. According to the Odessa Police Department and TxDOT, this wreck happened a little after 8 o'clock this Sunday morning. Uh, involving a 18-wheeler from the company known as Triple H with facilities out of Odessa. I spoke with Textiles Public Information Officer earlier today and he assured me that uh, they took all the necessary precautions to prevent this uh, bridge from uh, coming down. Textile officials told me that in wrecks like this, the company who owns the truck is normally responsible for the damages. And if you remember our previous reports, this marks the third wreck involving a truck and a bridge in the Permian Basin, definitely raising some safety concerns. So the latest is that the intersection has been opened up and is ready for Monday morning commuters. Reporting in East Odessa, Abraham Ruiz, CBS 7 News. Back to you, Jay. Abraham, thanks.